Is Mars really red? When you see Mars in the night sky, it definitely has a reddish tint to it. People have been noticing that for a long time. Even the ancient Egyptians called Mars the Red One. So where does that redness come from? Well, a lot of rocks on Mars are full of iron, and when they're exposed to the great outdoors, they oxidize and turn reddish. The same way an old bike left out in the yard gets all rusty. When rusty dust from those rocks gets kicked up in the atmosphere, it makes the Martian sky look pink. From a long way away, the whole planet looks kind of reddish. But if you get a close-up view with an orbiter, lander, or rover, you'll see that a lot of Mars is actually more of a butterscotch color. Depending on what minerals are around, some landscapes can be more golden, brown, tan, or even a little greenish. So in fact, there are a lot of different colors on what we call the red planet. So if there were real bluing here, it would have to be due to uh, lots of very small particles, smaller than a wavelength of light, uh, suspended in the atmosphere. Dr. James Pollock of the lander imaging team has now uh, looked at individual uh, brightness uh, numbers, so-called DN values, and concludes that despite the impression on these images, the sky is not blue. It's a typical, <laughs> it's a typical Earth chauvinist response. <laughs> um, according to Dr. Pollock, the sky is in fact pink, which is an okay color. Um, it <laughs> The sky is red, but it is not as red as the surface. And uh, the question of what makes, and, and, and by the way, the, the reason it looks blue here is must then be due to uh, someone making a slightly wrong relative weighting of the three colors which go into making up this picture. And it was done before the uh, uh, appropriate uh, color calibration chart data had been incorporated into this. So I hope we will see in the next day or two uh, corrected, slightly pinker uh, sky. The uh, color of the sky contains some information, whichever color it is, and the pinkness of the sky uh, cannot be due to... Chrism spectra of the bluish material shows that it consists of a combination of chloride and water ice. The image was captured at the beginning of southern spring, at a time period when south-facing escarpments still retain ices deposited during the winter. Some speculate that there were ancient oceans over this region. Could that somehow explain these features? Ancient glaciation is another possibility, perhaps depositing ice-rich debris next to topographic obstacles. Future images of this region may provide clues, but for now, this is a mystery. What we'd like to share with you today that we now have uh, full confidence that there is methane occasionally present in the atmosphere of Mars and that there are organics preserved in ancient rocks on Mars in certain places. This is important. Uh, methane.